Lord Jesus said, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Lord Jesus, before ascending to heaven, spoke these words, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. But a certain man named Ananias, with Sapphira his wife, sold a possession, and he kept back part of the proceeds, his wife also being aware of it, and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and keep back part of the price of the land for yourself? While it remained, was it not your own? And after it was sold, was it not in your own control? Why have you conceived this thing in your heart? You have not lied to men, but to God. Lord Jesus said, Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Do you not know that you are the temple of God? and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not on your own? For you were bought at a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Now in the church that was in Antioch, there were certain prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manaen, who had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, Now separate to me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then having fasted and prayed and laid hands on them, they sent them away. The Spirit said to Peter, Behold, three men are seeking you. Arise, therefore, go down and go with them, doubting nothing, for I have sent them. Then Peter went down to the men. Then the Spirit said to Philip, Go near and overtake this chariot. So Philip ran to the Ethiopian eunuch and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah and said, Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, How can I, unless someone guides me? And he asked Philip to come up and sit with him. The place in the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, 
and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, his justice was taken away, and who will declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. So the eunuch answered Philip and said, I ask you, of whom does the prophet say this? Of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning at this scripture, preached Jesus to him. Now, as they went down the road, so they came to some water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What hinders me from being baptized? Then Philip said, If you believe with all your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So he commanded the chariot to stand still, and both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water, and he baptized him. Now when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away, so that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. Like this Ethiopian eunuch who believed that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, I myself believed in Jesus. The most important decision in life is to believe in Jesus as Lord and Savior. If you want Jesus in your life, you can pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. In your name I pray. Amen. If you like this video, kindly click the subscribe button below the screen so that you won't miss any new videos on my channel. Thank you.